From the text message on the left, you will see that Bobby Ante admits that the title company paid his student loans out of the 62K, which was for a deposit. He then also admits that he paid off two of his own credit cards, stating that he used his own money, one for $1,500 and one for $1,700. He then tells me if I do not bring the house keys back, he's going to change the locks, and this is only months after I lost Aiden. He then tells me, good luck with my bankruptcy, and he's going to be throwing my things outside. This is the abuse that I suffered for months Why Bobby Ante tried to conceal the fraud that occurred at the closing on January 17, 2018. The text message on the left will show you that Bobby Ante admits that he came into this situation with only $14,000. He then used his entire $14,000 paying off his debt, and then he states he spent $8,000 contributing to the wedding. Therefore, he admits that all of his money was spent. National Title Company and Nikki Sakakis Bot illegally paid off $8,000 in student loans to qualify Bobby for the home. From both of these text messages, you can see Bobby had already spent over $20,000 in less than two months. From the previous slide, you see Bobby Ante admitting that he walked into the situation with $14,000. He admits to paying two of his credit cards, contributing to the wedding, the honeymoon, buying sunglasses, and scheduling a trip to go see his baby mama. From those things that he admitted to, he was left with $2,800. He then states that he bought my ring, which was $7,000, which would then put him at minus $4,200. At closing, he then paid off his student loans, which was $8,300, which was minus $12,500. From the text message on the left, you can see me asking Bobby what he would spend $3,000 for on PayPal. Bobby then admits that all these bills were before me, and I had nothing to do with his PayPal or any of the rest of the credit cards that he ran up. His solution was that maybe he needs to get some help and go get drunk and play mega bucks. But again admits I had absolutely nothing to do with all of his credit card debts or any debts prior to being with me. These were all his own personal debts. From the text message on the right, you can see I told Bobby Ante not to buy the house. And he responds, house or apartment, all the same. I responded that apartment would never have costed $80,000. He then responds with, now do you want a divorce again? Because I had already asked for annulment several times and divorce, and Bobby continued to drag this out, trying to convince me that he didn't do anything wrong. The text message on the left, Bobby gives me a list of bills that he pays. It's very clear that we do not share finances and we both were paying our own bills out of our own accounts. Bobby Ante then lists all of the credit cards that he is still paying off even after the closing of the house and now also child support. Therefore, he could not afford the mortgage. He could not afford the HOA on a $14 an hour income. On the text message on the right, you will see that he admitted that I canceled with Linda on January 15th, that he made the choice alone to continue to buy the house. And he did this because he knew his child support was going to kick in and that he was going to get automatic deductions, which again would make him not qualify for this house. So he knowingly accepted fraudulent conveyance of this home for his own personal benefit. Here you will see five days after the loss of my son that Bobby Ante and his baby mama were going into court for paternity testing. Bobby Ante has a history of fraud and did not sign the birth certificates to neither one of his children so that they could both commit welfare fraud where she collected medical benefits while Bobby worked at his job for over 10 years and didn't want to pay for medical benefits for his own children. With open child support litigation, Bobby Ante was not eligible to purchase a home. After I canceled the purchase in writing, he admits that he went forward with it because he knew he would not qualify for a home after child support would be deducted from his paychecks. Even though Bobby Ante only made $14 an hour, his baby mom of Veronica Yepes then went back to court to increase her child support because she had found out two weeks after this paternity test, that Bobby had married me. 
In this slide, Bobby admits that when he left the house, it only valued at 280000 So if we had sold the house at that time, he would not have even been able to cover the $75,000 in the contract, which is why his lawyers provided to him by, Sh by Linda Na, Shumway Van, drug this out for over two years, trying to build equity into the home. In this slide, Bobby Ante admits he only makes $14 an hour and the majority of his check is taken by child support. He then also admits that he knew he wasn't my type, yet he took advantage of me in the worst possible moment and then helped complete strangers attack me and my foundation for five years now.